Alright, welcome to a brand new video. My microphone's broken, so I'm using this one, which was only supposed to be a prop, but let's be honest, it feels a little bit more natural to me anyway. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to everyone who came and saw me live in Melbourne. Let's get into the video. Look, imagine the worst thing that could ever happen on an aeroplane, all right? Yes, it's 9-11. Imagine something slightly less bad than that. There's a lot of other uh, horrible things that can happen on planes. Imagine something very bad that could happen on a plane that wouldn't result in your death. That happened recently. In the middle of a regular everyday flight, all of a sudden, half the plane burst out of their chairs and revealed themselves to be just about the second worst thing you could be on a plane, and that is evangelical Christian who love to sing. God, if this isn't my worst nightmare, I don't know what is. I would rather they make Snakes on a Plane a real movie in which I am the lead actor. flown from Tasmania to Perth, which is like four or five hours with AirPods in my ear and a baby screaming next to me on the flight the entire ride, and I would still rather do that than listen to this on a fucking plane. We live in an era where every single person goes onto a flight with their own personal entertainment devices. They know what they're going to do. I'll bring a book, some people will bring a movies, some people will bring a mobile phone game just to scroll through for hours and hours and hours. And even that is better than half the plane going, hey, put down all of your personalized entertainment that you've planned to watch. I'm going to sing a song you don't like or know on the guitar about a god that you don't worship. If I was on this flight and I saw 50 Christians that were so excited to meet God they pulled out a guitar and ruined my flight, I would open the emergency exit door and we can all meet him together. Actually, scratch that. There is no way that any of these Christians are making it to heaven behaving like this on an aeroplane. And if they do make it to heaven, it's not a God I want to support. I'd like to give a quick shout out to this guy who looks just so fucking unimpressed. This is me, all right? This guy, when they started singing, was 27 years old, but by the time they got halfway through the first verse, he looks like this now. That's what they're doing to this poor man. Who the fuck did this guy bring a guitar on the flight anyway? That's a bad decision. No instruments on a plane, ever. You gotta check it, okay? An instrument should be like a gun, all right? You gotta check that shit. You know what? A guitar should be like a penis, all right? Everyone can bring it on the plane, but if you start playing with it, you're banned for life. I would rather go back in time to when I was 17 years old, going to house parties, trying to finger girls while some guy ruined the mood singing Wonderwall poorly on a guitar than listen to this on a fucking plane. That saves me. I'm trying to think of things worse than this that aren't crashing, you know? Like a baby crying I would rather deal with, or, or terrible turbulence I would rather deal with. The only thing I can think of that would be uh, as bad as this but isn't exactly like a horrific crash would be like finding out you're on the same flight as an anti-Putin Russian politician. You know, you're just sitting there waiting for someone else to either assassinate him or the plane to go down. I feel like that would be quite stressful but still not as bad as this. One thing I really like though about this video is just every single person who is not in this group just hating it. They're just not excited. They don't even find it endearing. And this is American, so there's a lot of Christians on this flight, but a lot of those people are like, yeah, I really like the big guy, but I fucking hate you, okay? Seeing all of these strangers shoot needles of pure hatred at these you know, when I saw all of these people stand up in the middle of a flight to sing a song that no one else in the cabin knows the lyrics to, which is rude enough in itself, you know? Forget the fact that they're trying to convert all of these people or preach uh, how good their God is on a fucking plane while people are trying to just get to where they're going. All right, that's annoying enough. They're not even singing like a, a Christian song that anyone would know the lyrics to. That would be like me jumping up in the middle of a flight and just rapping the lyrics to at an obscure cursor song that only I know the words to. That would be a great experience for me, but I feel like everyone else would want me dead. But when I saw these people start standing up and singing in the middle of the flight, to be honest, I started to lose faith in humanity until I looked around and I saw that uh, there are still some good people in this world. When I saw this woman just shooting daggers of pure hatred at the guy with the guitar, I thought, you know what, we're gonna be okay. 
when I saw this man contemplating ruining his trip and getting himself banned for life. I really started to think, you know what, we're gonna be fine. To be honest, if I was on this flight, I have no idea how I would react, you know? I feel like uh, it wouldn't be good, you know? I feel like I would just snap and pull out like some speakers from my bag and do something drastic like this. Oh, can you guys shut the fuck up? Look, playing a baby crying over some speakers would be pretty bad, but it could be worse. I could have been playing this. Oh, can you guys shut the fuck up? Can we also spare a minute to think about the poor pilot and co-pilot of this plane? You know, like if I was just do doing my daily shift of flying to one place before I have to fly to another place, you know, thinking it's a normal day. If I was just driving the plane, and then I just hear muffled Christian gospel singing in the back of the plane, I would just assume that the passengers have noticed that the wing's on fire. You know, I'd be like, oh fuck, they see something that I can't. We are going down. Scratch that, if I was the captain, I'd probably do this. <clears throat> uh, this is your captain speaking. We're about to experience some expected turbulence. I don't know what these people are trying to achieve by doing this, you know, just like being so obnoxiously religious and it really is something that only christian people can do you know like no muslim is allowed to do this on a flight are they that would make the news but in a very different way six very religious muslims subdued for trying to worship their god in a peaceful way and then fox news would anoint the guy that performed the citizen's arrest as a hero cnn would want him executed that's how that would go but for some reason because it's uh, white people smiling and singing about their god uh we just have to deal with it to the point where i'm even seeing like tweets going oh if you're bothered by this just put headphones on hey if you want to hear christian music why don't you but overall, look, I'm not too upset about this, and uh, mainly because I'm seeing how angry everyone on the planet is about this. I hope these guys just never do that shit again. No one wants to come together on an airplane, okay? No one wants to come together on an airplane. There's a reason why Jeffrey Epstein's getting in trouble for flying all those people around. People don't like it when we come together on planes. So, look, if you really want to worship your God, okay, there's better ways to do it. And if you really want to convert people, there's certainly better ways to do it than, than playing songs and music that other people don't want to listen to. This is like the equivalent of uh, some lad from Frankston blasting Australian rap on the train, okay? It doesn't make me want to do anything other than stab you, which is actually kind of converting me to lad culture. So maybe it is working, but just for that particular subset of culture. I'll end it there. I'm Lewis Spears. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, buy the merch, and I'll talk Talk to you very soon. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt. Buy my shit, buy my shirts, buy my merch and no one gets hurt.